First of all, a big thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Secondly, I love making these videos. You know I do, but I need your support. All you have to do to support me is click that subscribe button. It takes two seconds and it means a lot to me. All right, here's today's featured video. Number one, don't coast your car down a slope in neutral. For one, it takes some control away from you since you cannot accelerate in neutral and can only slow down using the brakes. Modern automatics are intelligent enough to cut the supply of fuel while you drive downhill, thereby preventing the need for coasting and providing more fuel efficiency, much like their manual counterparts. Number two, don't shift gears when your car is moving. Make sure you come to a complete stop before going from drive to reverse or vice versa. Why? For one, it wears out your transmission because you're using that to stop the car instead of your brakes. The car will actually stop, but you will end up wearing out your automatic transmission band. The transmission band is hard to access, making its repairs and replacement expensive and time consuming as opposed to brakes, which are easy to access and service. Number three, don't put your car in neutral at a red light. Many people think that keeping the transmission in drive while stepping on the brake wastes fuel and causes unnecessary wear in the drivetrain. In fact, actual engine wear and fuel loss are minimal. According to Lifehacker, it's the simple act of disengaging and re-engaging by switching into and out of neutral that adds wear to the various parts involved. Number four, don't launch your car in a bid to start your car faster. This is whereby a driver revs the car while in neutral and then shifts to drive to enable one to zoom off at a high speed. However, by doing this, you are wearing out the automatic transmission band, which is expensive to repair, as mentioned. Plus, it's also very dangerous. Number five, don't shift your car into park mode until it's fully parked. When you engage park, what happens is that a locking pin is inserted into a gear that is connected to your transmission output shaft. The wheels of your car are connected to your transmission output shaft such that when the shaft is locked, your wheels can't move. If you happen to engage park when the car is still moving, you can easily shear the locking pin and even break it, which would call for some costly repairs. Number six, don't delay changing the transmission fluid. In an automatic, there is higher heat produced. That means there's going to be more carbon produced, which will contaminate the transmission fluid. Over time, these contaminants will cause the fluid to thicken and no longer do their job effectively. Always follow the manufacturer's specifications and don't miss the next change cycle. And finally, number seven, in the event your car gets towed, take extra caution on how it's done. This may sound simple, but it can mean a world of difference in terms of costs and repairs. Your powered wheels must never be on the road when towing. For instance, on a front wheel drive car, you will lift the front wheels and leave the back wheels on the road. The tow truck driver should know this. By towing your powered wheels, you could spoil the suspension and cause persistent problems for your car, which means higher repair costs. All right, that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you if you haven't already for subscribing. I appreciate it. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. See you next time, adios. One more thing before you go, I've added links to some of the best-selling automotive accessories on Amazon right now, along with links to some of my product reviews. You'll find it in the description below this video. And a big welcome back to Everyman Driver. I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. This week, I have the all-new 2019 Honda Passport, a five-passenger midsize SUV made for adventure seekers. This comes in fortune levels, Sport, EXL, Touring, and Elite. We have the EXL today. We're going to take a closer look.